What's up ladies and gents? This is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today it's Sunday and we're doing our Q&A video for the week. You know by now what to do. If you've got a question you would like to see me potentially answer next week, leave it in the comment section below and we'll see if I can get to it. If you enjoy this video, go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now we're just showing off a little bit of a match on Memento. It's just control, nothing extremely fancy. I just thought it was a pretty fun match. As usual, I do pretty bad in the beginning and then finally get things going on. We have a really good match and you get to see the real benefit to having Defender Titans on your team. Wow. Wow is all I'll say there. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and get into the questions. We're just going to start off right away with Mr. Light Out asking if I play any sports. So right now, no, I don't play any sports, but whenever I was younger, yes, I played pretty much everything. I did baseball, soccer, basketball. The things that I really did competitively though as I got a little bit older in my years were swimming competitively and wrestling. So I was on a summer and winter swim team for a long, long time. In fact, I ended up lifeguarding at the same pool that I swam competitively for about six years when I got a little bit older. So I was definitely always at the pool, always swimming. I hated practice though hated swim practice and I know that probably sounds weird coming from a guy that works and then comes home and does this and does it every single day you would think that somebody like that could be really devoted to practice but no I don't like practicing and stuff I am not a fan so I pretty much just got by on all of my normal athletic ability just whatever I had in me was pretty much what I did and I was able to motivate myself whenever a big race or something happened to go on so I did swimming for a number of years I even coached it for a year whenever I was in high school then whenever I was in junior high that's pretty much whenever I started wrestling I wrestled from junior high through high school and had a lot of fun with that. That was a really good time. And whenever I went to college, I was going to wrestle in college. That's pretty much the way that I ended up picking the college that I went to. I planned on wrestling there. But once I got up to college, I realized that it was going to take a significant, significant commitment to continue to make weight and do all of that stuff. And, you know, making weight and sticking around to have one particular weight class, that kind of stuff really gets on you after a while. And whenever you're doing that type of stuff, you kind of have to watch out what you're doing as far as all the other aspects of my life. And here I was at college and I just wanted to have fun. I didn't want to have to worry about making weight. I didn't want to have to worry about, you know, if I was eating this or that, if it was really going to affect me. I always ended up having to kind of starve myself and do a lot of running around before having to make the weights and that was just not something that I wanted to do whenever I got up to college so I just didn't do it and that was pretty much the last time that I actually did play a complete you know organized sport at all so it has been definitely a number of years since I did any type of organized sport but I've played it all I've done it all and it's been a lot of fun so if those of you are younger and thinking about doing any type of sports or anything like that I say definitely go for it you know, as I sit here and I'm older and I think back, you know, you like to think about all the things that you could have or would have or should have done better. Who knows, maybe practice more, maybe you could have gotten to that next, next level, something like that. So definitely, if you're playing a sport, go for it, go all out. You only get one chance. You really can't go back. Moving on to our next question, we have Ryan McGee asking what my favorite game ever is. And I think I actually answered this, but it was probably way back in one of the very first Q&A videos that we did. I'm going to actually say my favorite game ever is Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy III Super Nintendo as far as I was concerned. Growing up, no internet at that time, no internet at all. We played games by what they were titled in the stores. As far as I knew, it was Final Fantasy III on the Super Nintendo. That was definitely my favorite. That was actually my first Final Fantasy game that I ever actually played. I played it with two of my other buddies. It was one of those things where if all three of us weren't there, we actually did not pick up the game and we did not play it. We did not advance the story. So the only way we played that game is if all three of us were there together. And in those games, you were able to name yourself after the various characters in the game. So that was really a lot of fun. We were able to identify with specific characters in that class. You know, that game had a whole bunch of different classes, a whole bunch of different characters. So we were able to name a bunch of our different friends in there. And it's kind of like you're playing a game with your friends, with a bunch of your friends inside the game, and you're able to laugh at the moments that are going on in it. So that one is definitely my favorite, my first Final Fantasy. 
and it actually got me to go back and play the other games in the series and play the series going forward, so I always do look forward to the next Final Fantasy installment coming out. Next up we have Etho asking, what annoys me in Crucible? And he gives a number of things, none of those things bother me at all. You want to know the things that bother me? There are actually two things. One is camping. Camping is so freaking annoying. People that go to the very back edges of the map and sit there and just sit in one place and don't move at all. That's so annoying. Why would you want to play the game like that? Why would you want to play the game where you walk to a position and you sit there and that's it. You just sit there and hope that somebody runs in front of your cursor and then pull the trigger. That's all you do. Those are the people that you then see in the forums or in the comment sections and they're like, get good, your KD is terrible and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know what? You just have to laugh. Those people are just sitting in one place. They're barely even playing the game if you want to even call it that. That is one of my most annoying things. And the second most annoying thing to me is something that you actually just saw happening on that B control point. And that's people that crouch walk everywhere. Holy crap, is that annoying. Anytime I get killed and I see somebody that's crouch walking around the map, that annoys me to no end. Because the one thing that Destiny has that other first person shooters don't have is access to a lot of mobility. One of the biggest things that Destiny has is its mobility and vertical movement in the game. If you're sitting around and crouch walking everywhere, you are completely negating that portion of the game. You're basically not playing the game as it's intended to be. You're playing it and you're extremely boring. How can you have fun crouch walking around the entire map? Wow. Yeah, those are the two things that annoy me the most <laughs> in PvP. It's not anything else. It's not shotguns for sure. It's not snipers for sure. It is crouch walking and camping. <laughs> those two things. Poison Berries here with our title question asking me what Destiny YouTubers do I watch and who generally inspires me. So I've definitely made mention of it before, but Arlyson85 and King Italian are the two YouTubers that pretty much got me into doing this. They don't know, they don't even know that my channel exists as far as I know, and yet that doesn't matter at all. Because I started watching Early Scene 85 in his Borderlands 2 content, I really, really enjoyed it. I liked the way that he was, how honest he was with his community, how everything seemed really positive and everybody was having a good time. Whenever Destiny came out, I had Destiny. I didn't think that I was going to be playing it. But I was watching Early Scene 85 start playing it. Unfortunately, his internet kind of crapped out. He was really not able to play Destiny. And that's what kind of then got me over to King Athalion. Started watching him, really enjoying his content. And I finally made the plunge in December 2014 to go ahead and start doing some of my own stuff with the Gorgon Path through the Vault of Glass. After that, you know, things just kind of got to where they are. I still do watch those guys, I definitely still watch those guys, but I watch a number of other Destiny YouTubers as well. I've actually reached out to Professor Broman, Mac, Morning After Kill, and The Lab, Lucky and Buttwipe. I've tried to contact them to see if they wanted to do any type of collaboration video, but you know, I know from doing my video that I get a ton of responses and a ton of just comments and stuff every day. I can only imagine the type of stuff that they end up getting, so unfortunately I didn't hear back from them. Who knows, maybe if we grow big enough one day, there will be a community groundswell to be like, hey, we should do a community collaboration video with, you know, the lab and KC Kid or something like that. Who knows? But I do think that there are a lot of really awesome Destiny YouTubers out there. As far as some YouTubers that I like to watch that aren't Destiny related, I really enjoy watching Boogie2988. You've seen me put a couple of his clips in one of my Nightfall videos once. A lot of people were asking if that was me. It is not me. I would not want to take credit for his awesome characters and the funny stuff that he does, especially with his humorous character Francis, who I am sure you have seen videos of at some point over the internet. Also, I really enjoy Grade A Under A. I know I don't need to promote these guys. They've got millions of subs, but they are really good channels if you've never checked them out before. I know I've got a few other questions on deck, but I'm looking at the time on this video, and I'm also thinking about something that happened in last week's video. I was looking through the comment section and wondering why everybody was putting numbers in the chat, and I realized it was because I asked people to guess how old I actually am. Nobody came close. <laughs> Nobody came close at all. So you want to know how old good old k Kid is? He is definitely not in his early 20s like most of the guesses came. I'm actually 36, so yes, 
I am actually an elder statesman in the Destiny community. Older than Lucky from the Lab, older than King Githalion, and older than Mac. Not as old as Briar Rabbit, though. <laughs> Not as old as Briar Rabbit. I think he has definitely got me beat by a few years. But yes, that is us. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, the Taken King, and I'll see you around in Destiny 36.